Welcome back. So our artist of the week is here. He's a saxophonist and uh, Olu Jazz, a recording and performing artist. He has a hard-working and multi-genre personality, and he likes perfection. He has performed alongside great musicians like Gerald Albright, Richard Bonner, Kenny G, Hugh Masakela, Omar Omi, Tiwa Savage, at various events, the musician who earns the sobriquet Olu Jazz, the sax talkative. Ha, that's a long one. Olu Jazz, the sax talkative. You see him because of his deftness on the sax, believes that learning to play music is not only therapeutic, but also an exciting opportunity to develop a new skill that would last a lifetime. Does that mean he didn't start out as a musician? Well, Olu Jazz. Good afternoon. The sax talkative. Yes, boss. <laughs> no, so, so straight up, you didn't start out as a musician. Um, I started when I was um, a kid, and um, I think I want to say I'll be born a musician. You okay. are. You yes. didn't have to study it. No. Okay. So, did you um, study music in school? Some, yeah, I did some music studies. And I, but I'm, I'm a computer person, naturally, yeah. I studied computer science in school. Okay, so there we go again. I have my master's and um, my degree, my bachelor's in master's. computer science. Yes. Okay, so, all right, so the music is, <laughs> but the music is inborn. Yes. Okay, you say you started out as a child. That means your parents ensured that you... Yeah, my, my parents... Or you were running away to go and learn it somewhere. Uh, my parents are serious scholars, you know, they... The education is so, they, they never liked me to play music. But unfortunately for them, everyone in their family, were, they, they have that music thing. I don't know where they got it from. But minus, minus mom and dad, right? My mom actually sings very well in the choir, but in quotes, she was a teacher. You understand? Well, she was, she was still very active in, um, in her career. She was a teacher. My father, too, was a teacher. Both of them were very strong um, Educationist, and um, they will always flog girls, beat us, and say, Hey, no guys, no music. Yes, I was no meant wonder. to be a medical doctor, but you know, along the line, I, I fell short of. Um, <laughs> but you're the only musician, <laughs> you're the only one that went professional music in your family. No, who else did? Um, my elder brother, because we're actually competing while we're young, he is just four years older than me. But if you, if you see both of us, you think um, we're twins. He plays the trumpet. He taught me trumpet. Eventually, I taught him the the saxophone. Nice. Wow. Okay. So he's a saxophonist now, and he's doing uh -oh. well. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. But what did you opt for the saxophone? Yes, because I've always loved saxophone while I was a child. I, I've, I've known um, Kenny G, the jibop that he played. So I've known it while I was very young. So I've always known that this instrument is not the same trumpet that I used to play. So I know that there's a particular beauty that saxophone has. And you opted for jazz instead mm -hmm. of urban music. Yes. Why? Why jazz? Um, because of, maybe because of my nature, I like things that are really extreme, things that are on the high side. Exotic. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the right word. But jazz won't sell easily in Nigeria, will it? It's selling. Yeah, looking at a very well, upper, upper crust audience. Yes, it's selling, but um, by God's grace, we've been able to find, um, create, um, how do I say it? A way of making, of reaching out to everyone. Yeah, a blend. Mm. How to reach everyone, trust me. Yeah, and you, kind of, you, can, you can see the kind of, my track that I released, I'd say it's a very great um, cover of um, Joromi. And right now, the album that I'm going to unveil soon on Sunday, it's having a, a, a cut across music that has that can reach everyone, both from um, from from five, age five upward, even age one, you know, because children these days, they can sing along and all that. So we have all kind of music inside it. You you, you've been doing um, jazz festivals. Yes. Which one of them is it that stands out for you? Yeah, I've done um, Smooth Jazz Festival, the Smooth 98.1. You know, I've done the ass 2011, where we have Jared Robert and everything. But I moved to America, where I went to study more. And I've performed in San Diego Jazz Festival. I've done it twice, but this year I couldn't do it because I had to come to pay for my. Um, I've always and, and I've done other ones. I've, I've traveled to Cuba, traveled to Chile, all those um, South American places. I've done 
Yeah, a lot of, a lot of jazz festivals. And you said you went back to America to go and study more. Yeah. What were you studying? I studied computers. I did my masters, and I also did some of this. Um, I did a lot of research, and um, I studied more with some mentors. In, um, in music. Okay, so you went and got a master's in computer science. Yes. Uh, what is the intention of that? What do you want to yeah, do with uh, a master's in computer science yeah. when you <laughs> you decided to be a, a jazz man? Um, by God's grace, I'm a mathematician. I, I like mathematics a lot and um, I studied that. You know, computer science is all, 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 also mathematics, right? So a lot of programming and they're all together mathematics. So um, I, do, I don't want to do master's in music because I believe that the real thing that I know, I should know in music, I've known it, but I can grow more, you know what I mean? I've known the major, the, the major basic thing that I need to know, yes. but it's better for me to do the ones that I know academically. You know? What do you want to do with it? That's my the question. Music? No, um, no, 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 yes. What I want to do with it is just to maybe to teach my, my kids and to also um, learn how to be global, you know? It's because it helps me a lot, in my, even in my practices. Ah, it helps, okay. Yeah, it helps me a lot. And I'm also trying to see if I can make some softwares and some apps that's going to be saxophone inculcated, you know? So mm -hmm. that's what I'm planning. I have mm -hmm. some, but I don't want to reveal it. Now you're... Hey! Well, we're, we're on the same page. Really okay. I mean, you, uh, you have connected it. <laughs> so, um, how when you went back to America, and, and indeed, you said you went to Cuba and started mm -hmm. making yeah. What was the acceptability level of African jazz? I mean, did they just go for it or were they like, ah? Oh. They're really hungry for it. Not go for it. They really love African music. Trust me. It's like... Well, they would in Cuba. Even in America, they love African music. Like, you know, it, it depends. Again, the way you present it to them also matters. You understand? We have a lot of Nigerian musicians that are, accept, that are celebrated and accepted very well. Well, I didn't say African music, I say African jazz. jazz. Yes, African jazz is very special. Every music started from jazz, trust me. Mm -hmm. Every jazz music started from Africa. All our rhythms, our, our beats and everything, they are all in jazz. They took them away from, you know, slave trade and all that. That's how they got jazz music. Mm. Don't you see that in America, it's the black people that really know how to play the jazz music very well. So. <laughs> yes, that's so, right. you know, so people like Louis Armstrong are small. Thank you. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. John Coltrane, Charlie mm -hmm. Parker. Mm -hmm. um, you talk about the guitar maestro, um, what's his name again? George Benson, all of them. Or Clue. Yeah, Clue. Like, uh, yeah. You know. So this, yeah. this, genre, Washington this genre of music you picked up, you're not going to let it go, right? Never. That's me. <laughs> if I let it go, then Olu Jazz is no more. Okay, so... It wouldn't be Olu Jazz anymore. I, I wish we had more time to talk to talk about your music. We're going to wind down, and when we do, we'll just give you room to, you know, just pipe us out. Is that okay, Richie? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's Sunrise for this weekend. We'll bring you a hot, fresh edition next Saturday. Same time, same place. I'm Alero Do wishing you a happy weekend. See you next month. And I'm Nel Taibe. For those of us living in Lagos, please remember the third Milan bridge is still closed. So if you're using the alternate route, please drive for the next man. And just everyone, just be at peace with yourself and love your neighbors yourself. Bye bye. Olu Jazz. So on Sunday, I'm going to be hosting people for my concert, and I'm going to be saxing for everyone. Let's hear what you're going to be saxing. So listen, if you miss it on Sunday, you can't have it again. But trust me, you miss out. Thank <laughs> you.